hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of photo manipulation that is the minimal type photo manipulation and this one is too much easy to make this type of things so how to make it out let's see and uh, what i have done here let's see i have done here lots of things actually here i used a sky uh, if i show you this one okay that's great here this one this one these things actually this here the clouds and other steps so at first i took the sky and then i took another color and then i used a c and then shadow then rock and dodge burning process shadow 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 of the girl actually and the brightness contrast of the girl and here in the dodge and burn process here cloud actually this cloud i used here is rain and cloud and brightness contrast of the cloud and then the gradient map i used here and then merge it out and used a preset from the nick collection and my logo so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell for the new notifications go to the file and take a new here i use a4 size the artboard and hit the create button after that go to the file options and place embedded from here i'll use the c which is like that and i'll make it bigger like that that's good and hit the tick button right press and restylize the layer rename this one that's good and then i'll select the background and go to the solid color and choose the ash color like that and hit ok and after that select the c options and mask it and go to the gradient options and mask it out so when you are masking this one you should use this one just because of it will be more smooth so i'll make it smooth like that that's great and then i'll select the color this one and go to the file and place embedded options from here i'll use the sky and make the bigger sky like that yeah that's good and then right press restylize the layer rename this one okay that's good and go to the solid color and choose a blue color like that yeah actually this type of color yeah that's good and down the opposite a little bit yeah and then select the c options and go to the filter and the blur options and gaussian blur so why i'm using here gaussian blur just because of i want to give here the motion type feel that means the c is waving and other stuffs and hit ok and now our background is ready making group and giving the name bg after that go to the file and place embedded options from here take the rock and make it smaller like that and place it out in the middle of the window so right press restylize the layer give the name rock and here i'll place it out over here press ctrl t make it a little bit bigger that's good and then take a new blank layer like upper side of this rock layer and right press and make it clipping mask after that go to the edit options and fill and the 50 percent gray color and then make this one overlay just because of i want to make this one dodge and burn fill that's why i'm just done this here the dodge option and burn option so burn option i'll use here so give the burn option over here and here as well so it will make more dimension of the rock that's great and then go to the file and place seven options and here is the girl i made it clipping path and i'll show you how to make the clipping path in another video tutorial i'll provide you the link which in my video description so check it out and place it out and make it smaller like that that's great and place it out over here and here that's good and now i'll make this one group rock and this one right press restylize the layer give the name girl 
okay and same process i'll apply the dodge and burn and shadow and highlighting so take a new blank layer and go to the edit options and go to the fill color give the 50 percent gray color right press and create clipping mask and make the blending mode to overlay that's good and go to the dodge burning options so dodge tool so i make it actually i'll use the burn tool for the shadow and other stuffs so that's good and now go to the adjustment layer and go to the brightness contrast make it mask and down the brightness of the card that's good and now select this one and take a new blank layer i'll give the shadow over here so how to do that make it zoom and make the brush size smaller by pressing third bracket opening or closing and give the shadow like that and here as well that's good and take another blank layer and select once press ctrl t and make it bigger size of the shadow and place over here yeah it will make more sense that's good and now i'll select all the groups make it group and give the name girl that's good and now done this portion done now i'll go to the file and place a meter options and import the cloud and make it smaller like that and place over here i'll make it this type of bigger and right press and restyle as the layer and give the name cloud that's good and go to the adjustment layer go to the brightness contrast and here mask it and increase the brightness yeah it will be more prominent and for this one i'll use like blue dark type blue it will make more sense and the cloud will be prominent for this okay that's good and here this cloud is distracting that's why i select this cloud and go to the lasso tool select this portion and delete this press ctrl d for the deselect that's good and now i'll make it group here that is the cloud that's fine and now i'll go to the cloud that means select this one go to the file and place a banner option here is the rain png i'll provide you that download link in my video description please check it out and i'll place this rain over here but in this portion you are getting the sharp edges so i should make this one more smooth so right press this one restylize that and give the name rain and mask it out and go to the gradient options and mask it like that so yeah that's fine and that's the realistic part yeah that's good so you are getting the realistic part of the cloud and rain other steps so this one is rain and give the name rain yeah i given that so make it group all and making screenshot like that so turning off this one go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient map and select this gradient map and hit ok and make the blending mode to like overlay or soft light is good for this and make the fill color like 55 or 45 percent that's good select these two layers make it group and make it merge so give the name uh, gm gradient map that's good now i'll apply another preset from the nick collection so go to the filter nick collection color fix pro 4 this one is another plugins of the photoshop if you want to get the download link of the nick collection please check out my video description i'll provide all the resource file and other plugins in my video description so check it out i'm using the cross processing and here lots of methods you can use one of them which one is perfect for this one you should use that so i'm using that the strength will be 23 that's fine for this and hit okay it will take time to load it up and give you the final output for these photographs so it's almost done yeah that's good and go to the adjustment layer and levels and make the levels like that so that's done and this portion we just missed the shadow so go to the uh, tool which is the brush tool and make the size bigger like that and select two ones so you should make it black and select two ones or take a new blank layer select two ones press ctrl t and make it like that so place over here and make the opposite down so now this one is realistic 
and you are getting amazing look of the photo manipulation this one is too much easy to make these type of uh, things so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and uh, you if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am is signing out today bye bye